Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some frozen treats for you. Uh, this is a, a Kit Kat light ice cream. This is Oreo frozen dairy dessert. I have the Nestle dips, which are like little balls of ice cream. Are they ice cream? Okay, well I didn't know. Yeah, they're chocolate covered little ice cream balls. We found all three of these at Dollar General. The dips were $2.95 oh, and the, uh, these two, the Oreo and the Kit Kat, were $2.50 each. So we've had the Kit Kat and Oreo laying out for a few minutes, but not the dips. Uh, I don't think you have to lay those out. No. You're not scooping them, you're just eating them. <laughs> okay, so, and the reason we bought these, because this Kit Kat has been available for a little while at the regular grocery store, but it's like in an Edie's kind of carton, and there's no seal on it. Mm -hmm. There, These are sealed. Um, this is- Should be. It is, because we checked them while yeah, we were there, right. remember? Uh, this is chocolate and wafer light ice creams with a wafer swirl and Kit Kat candy pieces. A uh, two-thirds cup is 180 calories, or you can eat the entire container for 480 calories. This is a 14-ounce container, so it's not a pint. That's not bad. 480? Four, 480 for the entire yeah, pint. Yeah, that's good. It, it is good. Uh, we loaded rich and creamy chocolate and wafer light ice creams with Kit Kat candy pieces and a wafer swirl. It's the perfect break from the everyday to keep the fun going. Yeah. Seal. So yeah. We're still waiting for the what the Chips Ahoy to be uh, in yeah. a small container. We, this just been in the big one so far. And um, there. I've had other people request like there's a new um, there's a new Blue Bell that's been out. Uh, we searched uh, the Blue Bell containers like this to see if they were sealed. They're not even sealed. So we, we just can't try the Blue Bell at all, or we choose not to try the Blue Bell at all because there's no seal even on the small containers. So that's a brand we haven't had in years. Hmm. Okay. I see a hunk of chocolate and I get vanilla. There's tons of them. Oh wow, there's a big hunk of, I wonder if that's candy bar. Mm -hmm. Like, is that solid? It's literally a piece of Kit Kat. What do you think? It's okay ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's not the most flavorful ice cream. Yeah. That chocolate almost has a coffee-like flavor. I think, um... I don't know that Kit Kat is the right candy bar for ice cream because of the wafer. Now see, I, I, mine was all crunchy. Every bit of mine was crunchy. Oh, well, let me try another one. Yeah, I didn't get any mushy pieces or anything like that. It was all crunchy. I hear you crunching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe you just got a soggy one at first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because everything I've had in there has been crunchy and the chocolate's been pretty well coated. Um, I like the Kit Kat itself. I really yeah. do. Um, I, um, I feel like you do. I don't think the ice cream is stellar ice cream. No, it's kind of, it, it tastes, for lack of a better word, cheap. It's just lacking flavor. wonder who makes this ice cream. Um, this is made by Dryers. Which is Edie's. That's what I thought. Um, the, I, I do, but it is a light ice cream too. You have to remember that. I like the Kit Kat. I didn't like the first bite because it seemed mushier, but the second bite I had was all just a regular yeah. Kit Kat. So that, I do like that part and I like the flavor. The flavor is a Kit Kat bar. Um, the ice cream is just okay though. Yeah, I mean it's not bad. It's just not I wouldn't awesome. want a whole big container of I it. I wouldn't either. I would be tempted if I got that big container to eat out all, all the, the Kit Kat and then leave, <laughs> I mean, the, leave candy yeah, bars. candy bar and leave the ice cream. Yeah, I agree. The chocolate's not bad, and I don't even like chocolate ice cream that bad, but it has like a, a little bit of a coffee flavor to it. Vanilla is just like hardly any flavor. And I didn't get that at all, it, but it just does, it doesn't taste like it. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, new Oreo made with Oreo cookie pieces. America's favorite cookie is now a yummy frozen treat. Cream flavored frozen dairy dessert is packed with Oreo cookie pieces to deliver the iconic Oreo taste in every delicious bite. It's a cool new way to enjoy Oreo. And um, 
This is uh, same, yep. uh, say 180 calories for two thirds cup or 470 for the right. container. So it's 10 less for the whole thing. Yeah, so it's about the same. Okay, there's. Don't see a lot of cookies. Not in the a top ton, of no, but I'm expecting we'll see more when we get down in here. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is disappointing. A few, but there's not much. No. I tell you what, you pick, you take half of that container out, and there's hardly anything. It's just all hair. It. Uh, we've had other Oreo ice cream that's had tons of cookie. This um, hardly has any. I'm trying just the vanilla part. Well, prepare to be disappointed if you eat just the vanilla. I mean, wow. There's no richness to it. There's no flavor really much at all. No, really. there's no richness to it at all. I said the Kit Kat was light in flavor. This is almost like eating air. <laughs> it's like it's that light of flavor. Mm -hmm. The cookies, there's no crunchiness to them. They're all mushy, mm -hmm. same texture as the ice cream itself, mm -hmm. frozen dessert. And they have no flavor. Mm -hmm. That, you could be blindfolded and you could eat ice cream with that cookie piece and get no difference in texture no. and not taste any Oreo whatsoever. That no. does not taste anything like Oreo. No, I'm surprised they put their name on that. Mm -hmm. That, yeah, that's that's a failure, a complete and total failure. I they, mean, I know it's light ice cream uh, or light dairy dessert. I realize it's light, but still you can have flavor and still be light. That has no flavor. Right. Okay. Disappointed though. Yeah. Kit, as much as I was disappointed in the Kit Kat, the Kit Kat is like, wow, is it good compared to the Oreo, <laughs> isn't it? Oh yeah, the yeah. The Kit Kat's like, wow, full of flavor compared to the Oreo. If I only had those two to choose from, I'm picking the Kit Kat. Oh yeah, 100%. But there's too many other ice creams. I'm never buying either one of those again. Uh, this is the Nestle Dibs. And at Dollar General, they have a, a cooler, like a... A frozen no, stand freezer. Yeah, and that's where these were. So they sell like maybe drumsticks, a single, you know, singles, and that's where these were. And so it is a one container is 370 calories for the whole container, and this is made by Dryers in Oakland, California. Okay. Dryers Eats. And these um, have Nestle Crunch on them. They're like Rice Krispie Treats almost, if you never have one. What do you think about those? I'm getting some kind of a chemical. I just don't think they might have much of anything. They're almost as plain as that Oreo. And there is a little bit of a strange flavor, and I think it's the little uh, rice pieces. I like the texture. I like the texture too. It's got a crisp chocolate with a uh, really soft ice cream in the middle. I think it's something in that chocolate. I think it's the, the rice pieces. It could be. I and don't like the that. Parts. I don't like the flavor of no. that. No. Something they, tastes very, very artificial. They, they used to like sell these at Walmart as well. I think they still do. Yeah. And I've just never bought them. Um, I don't know if it has Nestle Crunch written on it. I have no idea. But. I do not like, I, I love the texture. I love the, because it has a crispy outer shell, that chocolate. I like the little pieces, but the flavor of it is just very. Um, it does have an odd flavor. Odd, odd yeah. artificial. I was hoping for like, I know as much as they cost, I was hoping for like Klondike bar kind of flavor. You know, mm -hmm. that rich, somewhat rich chocolate, a good vanilla ice cream. I was going to say, I've been disappointed in those lately. Yeah, but at least so. they have their vanilla ice cream's got a, a decent vanilla flavor and the chocolate is okay. That really is nothing. Once you start spending money on some decent ice cream, then when you go back to this cheap stuff, and it wasn't cheap. I'm not saying it's cheap at all because this was $3, $2.95 for this, Ridiculous. which is totally not worth it. Um, but once you get used to buying something of better quality, you will have a no desire to go back to, to things like this. You, you won't want to do it to yourself because there's better out there. So, um, and, and it's really not any more expensive, really. It's not that, no, it's not that bad. you can bad. get on sale for probably the same price. Yeah, if you can get uh, graders, if you can get Haagen-Dazs, 
Um, I would get those. I you just, have Ben and Jerry's, Talenti. Um, uh, Talenti, yes. Um, I, but I would avoid these. I just would. I would. I would avoid these com completely. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.